Hello chess lovers, I have a very mysterious game for you. This game was played both by Paul Morphy against an unknown chess player and also by Wilhelm Steinitz against a chess player named Rock. Paul Morphy's game was played in 1857 in New York and Steinitz played his game six years later in 1863 in London. And as you can see both players had surrendered their rook on a1. So as you have already guessed, I'm going to analyze two games at the same time. Morphy and Steinitz started with e4 and e5 by black. Knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, white goes for the Italian game, bishop c5 and b4, going for Evans gambit, sacrificing a pawn in order to grab the advantage in the center. Bishop takes b4, c3. Bishop a5, d4, e takes d4, white castles kingside, knight f6, bishop a3, controlling this a3 f8 diagonal and not allowing black to castle kingside. And now playing d6 is the best move blocking the diagonal, but instead black played bishop b6, queen b3, attacking the pawn on f7, and d5. Again it was not too late to play d6 and this bishop takes f7 check is not very dangerous, black can play king f8, white is a rook down, still black is winning. But instead after queen b3 we see d5, e takes d5 and a bad move knight a5, at least black should have played knight e7 covering the king. But this knight a5 move allows white to instantly win the game. Though both Morphy and Steinitz played rook e1 check, a better move was playing bishop b5 check. If bishop d7 then rook e1 check is winning, black is losing his queen. Or if c6 then d takes c6 is crushing. If knight takes b3 then c takes b7 discover check and white is promoting to a queen. If bishop d7 then rook e1 check, this bishop is just a killer. If queen e7 then promoting to a queen, it's over. Let's go back. After knight a5, we see rook e1 check, bishop e6, and now you can pause the video and try to find the best move for white. Ready? Now as you can see the queen on b3 is hanging, but Morphy and Steinitz both played d takes e6, sacrificing the queen. Black accepted the sacrifice. This is just losing on the spot. Black could have prolonged the game by capturing on c4, but this knight b3 allows white to go for a very beautiful king hunt. Here comes e takes f7 check, king d7, Bishop e6 check, king c6, knight e5 check, king b5, bishop c4 check, king a5, bishop b4 check and after king a4 white is capturing on b3 and checkmating black king. As for me I really love checkmates with a pawn. What's a game played by Paul Morphy and Wilhelm Steinitz? But actually all this looks very strange. Maybe Steinitz knew about this game, what do you think? It will be also very interesting to know your opinion about this game. Your comments please, good luck.